A brand new, powerful necromancy ring was just added into RuneScape, and I've been getting tons of questions about where to use it and how it compares to other powerful ring options in the game. So let's get right into it. By the end of this video, you should have a good idea of how this ring works, where to use it, and where it's good. Zorgoth Soul Ring is a reward from the Requiem of a Dragon quest, released into RuneScape on April 22nd, 2024. It can be upgraded after the quest by completing rituals at the Ungale Ritual site. It provides 30 necromancy damage bonus, which is more damage bonus than the Ring of Death and the Reaver's Ring. And it also has the special effect of having a 1 in 20 chance of granting a residual soul with each necromancy hit. This allows you to passively generate souls without using Soul Sap or Soul Sight, but it can also activate on those abilities. In this clip, my Soul Sap is granting me two souls instead of one. One's generated from the ability and the other from the ring. It's worth noting that Death Skull's bounces, as well as secondary bloat hits on your main target and your Necromancy Conjurers cannot activate this effect. But it does work with Blood Siphon, which when it works, can give you a massive boost in souls. With that said though, it's worth noting that it's effectively rolling a 20-sided dice for every single hit splat, so there's a lot of RNG to it. Sometimes it'll look like this, where it'll activate repeatedly, giving you a massive boost of souls, and other times you'll use Siphon and think that it maybe doesn't even work. Based on my testing, the Zorgoth Soul Ring can be really interesting in training scenarios, where a lot of the necromancy training bars, like this Abyssal Savages one from the PVME, prioritize Soul Scythe and Soul Strike as your main damage abilities. Gaining extra souls from these two abilities allows you to use the same bar but with less time spent using Soul Sap, which is your weakest ability. Swapping out your weakest ability for a stronger one is going to result in a higher kills per hour and a higher experience per hour. In the example you just looked at, I had five souls, and instead of using Soul Strike five times, I was actually able to use Soul Strike six times before I had to go back to using Soul Sap. In Player vs. Monster, I found the effect to be too inconsistent to rely on. As an example, on some boss kills, I would get two to three additional souls, but other boss kills, I wouldn't get a single one even across the full fight. Zorgoth Soul Ring is a direct stats upgrade over the Ring of Death and the Reaver Ring, but it doesn't compare favorably to the Reaver Ring because of the Reaver Ring's additional 5% critical strike chance. So because of that, Zorgoth Soul Ring is decidedly the second best necromancy ring in the game. But there is an exception to this. The main exception is whenever your damage potential, which is the percentage on your target information window, is below 100%. This is because the Reaver Ring also reduces your hit chance by 5%, which at most bosses doesn't matter as it will still be over 100%. But in those instances where it is hard to hit, that 5% loss in hit chance will equate to a loss of 5% damage, which is enough to tip the balance and make the Zorgoth Soul Ring better. A good example of a boss where Zorgoth Soul Ring is better than the Reaver Ring is Virago, because he's just so hard to hit even without the Reaver Ring. Overall, this ring is very powerful for a quest reward, and if it gets an upgrade from a certain undead Rex Matriarch that is being released next month, it could end up being the best in slot necromancy ring after not too long. That being said, for how easy it is to obtain, its price point of exactly zero coins and its very solid stats, and a pretty useful passive, this is a great ring option for a lot of players, and I'm very glad they added it into the game.